Hi, this is Miss O'Halligan, and we're going to continue with our theme of pop art. So your second week art assignment is going to be based on Rory Lichtenstein. And I have already uploaded some information about the artist on Google Classroom, so you can take a look and read about him. So your objective today is you are going to be creating a Rory Lichtenstein inspired work of art. You are going to choose a household item, maybe clothing, maybe um, cleansers, maybe it's a soda, maybe once again, you might choose candy or a food item. And what you are going to do is use the art principle of emphasis. So you're going to emphasize that using your entire picture plane on your paper to emphasize that item. So what you're going to do is either start off with a pen or, pa um, pen or pencil. You're going to draw it out, sketch it out. We always talk about plan, sketch, then what you're going to do is finalize your plan with um, just kind of refining your sketch that you've already previously kind of sketched out that you're really comfortable with. And then after that, add your details. All right, you guys, so don't forget about our plan of action, the steps that we normally take in the classroom. So what you're gonna do is plan out your project. What are you gonna use? So I went ahead and used my household cleaner as my example of my item for my Rory Lichtenstein inspired artwork. Then what you're going to do is kind of sketch out your plan. So looking at your subject, what type of shapes do you see? Because remember everything is in terms of shape and line. So I do see a circle. I see a little bit of an oval right here. So that could actually help you get started kind of sketching out your plan of action when it comes to drawing in your subject. Once again, since we are talking about pop art, um, add and incorporate some little um, background to help it pop. Um, out from your sheet of paper. What can you incorporate with the item that you chose to draw in for your project? So since I chose the dish soap, I went ahead and decided to put some little bubbles in the background. So I'm gonna have these in different sizes just to kind of give it um, a little bit more of a balance to it. So once you sketch out your plan, then what you're gonna do is if you don't have very much paper, you're gonna flip it over, you're gonna draw out your plan and really refine your drawing. So right here, you guys can see, I sketched out and refined my drawing from using a basic circle and also my oval shape as well and different sizes of bubbles. I also incorporated some highlights to um, the bubbles as well. So as you guys can see, once you get your sketch, you're just gonna make it a little bit darker because remember you always draw light until you get it right. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and sketch out your plan of action. Once you have your plan, then this is when you guys can incorporate color depending what you have at home. Um, you might have some markers, you might have crayons or you might have color pencils. You could go ahead and do that. So considering that we're talking about pop art and Roy Lichtenstein, he actually incorporated what was called binday process. He used a lot of these binday dots. What the binday dots are um, is a type of printing or photo engraving technique dating back to 1879, named after an illustrator printer, Benjamin Henry Day Jr. While commonly described in terms of dots, other um, shapes can also be used like parallel lines, different types of textures, irregular effects um, or waved lines you could also use. So this is my sketch or my right before I add in my color. And the final product should look something like this. So you guys can see I did incorporate a lot of the little bende dots within my bubbles also within the soap container itself. I added some parallel lines and I added some little zigzag lines also within the color process. Think about your color wheel as well. What are your complementary colors? What kind of stand out with each other as well? Think about your warm and cool colors. So I have this nice warm and cool color play with the background to kind of have it stand out to the viewer. And if you do, um, go ahead and outline it with a black marker because that will also have that sort of really nice graphic detail um, to your pop art 
um, project as well. So once you are complete with your project, just go ahead and upload it to Google Classroom. Um, or if you are, are having difficulties, don't forget that you can upload it um, or send it to me through my email at A-O-H-A-L-L, number one, at NAISD.net. And you can send it to me through my email as well. Thank you.